because I'm at a beautiful farm here in the Netherlands. You can see behind me. Now you might wonder why I'm at a farm, because I'm going to make a Filipino dessert. But I need some eggs for this dessert and I thought it would be really nice to have really fresh eggs, okay? So let's go inside and see what they have. My shoes might get a little bit dirty, but that's okay. So it looks really beautiful and it's a very nice weather today. I'm excited to look for the manok. Manok, manok. So you can see I found a chicken here. <laughs> I hope they have some fresh eggs that we can buy. So we're here in the store guys. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, store here in the farm and they have uh, lots of ingredients I can see. So let's have a look if they have something very tasty that we can bring home, okay? So it looks like these are all fresh, uh, freshly made juices. It's like uh, they have cranberry juice and apple juice, you know, and I, I believe they made them, make them here. They make them fresh, in-house. Oh, they even have nice ice cream here. I love carrot juice, so I'm gonna bring one bottle of this carrot juice, okay? Number 6, 1, 2, 3, 8. So they even sell meat here, so let's uh, bring also some meat. Never know, maybe we're gonna make another uh, tasty fish. What's up, Sakutai? Yeah, we can Okay. Okay. So first I'm going to split the eggs. So I will use two whole eggs. Okay. And the rest is gonna be only the yolk. So we're adding uh, one can of uh, condensed milk. We will also add one pack of cream, cooking cream, to make it a little bit more rich in flavor. A little bit of um, salt. Just to get a little bit extra flavor. And finally, I will add a little bit of sugar because this was an unsweetened uh, condensed milk, okay? So we need, it's a dessert, so I'm gonna make it a little bit sweet and then we're gonna whisk everything together. Now I have this uh, tiny bottle with ube flavor, okay? It's a purple yam flavoring. So we're gonna have a look at this. Oh wow, it, uh, it really smells like ube. Mm. Wow, look at that. It's like flowers. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll mix everything. Wow. Ganda, no? So the next step is melting the sugar. 
it's already melting guys and it's turning brown a little bit so now it's becoming like a real caramel there's just a little bit of lumps in there which uh, is a bit, bit hard to get out but i think it's okay we'll give a nice crispy texture at the butt at the top okay so we're gonna quickly fill these cups with the caramel Uh, the caramel smells amazing. So we're going to add some hot water just beside the cups. Just a little layer. So I'm going to cover these and uh, we will put them in the oven on 190 degrees Celsius for one hour. So it went in the oven. I uh, let it cool off and then put it in the fridge overnight. So we're going to turn it around and I can already see guys, it's a beautiful color. There we go. Let's try a little bit of a design, guys. This is like a farmer style. Mm. Oh wow, real lechiflan flavor. And it has a little bit uh, subtle ube flavor as well. I hope you like this episode. Please let me know what you think. Uh, if you wanna see more like Dutch farms or other things, you know, in the Netherlands, let me know, okay? And I will try to make another uh, nice video for you. Maraming salamat po. See you next time with more Filipino food. <laughs>